I'm gonna have to play more of this tomorrow. But yeah, no, I, I know where the control room is. It's on the planet. You even see it land. I just getting down there sucks. Let's take a look at this at the very least. So, probe orbital cannon, control module. Probe tracking module, launch module. Construction yard. Broken remains of a Nomai space station in orbit around Giant's Deep. There are three access ways branching off from the central hub area. Orbital probe cannon was created to find the precise location of the eye of the universe. The Nomai push the orbital probe cannon above its maximum power setting to create the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Pro uh, the control module recently received a request from the Ash Twin project to launch the probe. The cannon was aligned with a randomly selected probe trajectory. The probe was successfully launched, but the cannon's structural integrity was compromised in the process. Damage is detected in multiple modules. The launch module is badly damaged, but its projection tool is still intact. Nomai named Mallow argued that it wouldn't matter if the cannon's structural integrity was compromised, since they only need to fire the probe once. Nomai named Privet countered that they wouldn't be capable of receiving the probe's data if the tracking module was destroyed. One of the... One of the orbital probe cannon's three modules. The probe tracking module is receiving data from the launch probe. Any Nomai aboard the probe tracking module will be the first to see the coordinates of the eye of the universe. A Nomai computer reports the probe tracking module is missing. I saw the probe tracking module through a Nomai projection tool. Looks like the module is underwater. You can see purple electricity outside the viewport. So, we've got to go to the ocean. Let's go die. Probably. Okay, there you are. Let's just go to that. Oh, Shell made food and it is so smelly. And, like... I think this is going to be the last thing that I do for the night, which sucks because I want to play so much more of this, but I got to I gotta go do other things. Stop firing rockets. False. I mean, we're more or less just going in. Okay, so there's the current. So, it's in there. Now, we we're told of islands in the area. Somewhere here. There we go. Well, might as well land at this one first. Because this is the easiest I can do. Well, that was kind of a landing. I don't know what we're getting into. I really should probably stop. But I wanted to check this out real quick. Looks like gravity here is pretty hefty. Oh boy. So... I bet if we figure this out, we can turn off the, uh, we can turn off the, the storms. It looks like they're all long dead, which is interesting. Because, I don't know. This is it. We've finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and ready to send it to, into orbit around Giant's Deep for assembly. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my uh, gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where other attempts have not. Are you gelatinous, honest love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Malo and Avens behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. Oh. If I know my brother, Avens, and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible, I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. I propose we give Avens and Malo a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum power uh, possible to create room for their enthusiasm. 
Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. A lot of them are just dead here, though. Whoa. Hi. I don't think I want to go in the water. I think the water would be an issue. Okay. Control module proje projection stone. I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there's a problem with the proposed power source. Oh, we've already read this one. I really wish... These were... Okay. Three minutes, 54 seconds ago, long-range probe successfully launched from orbital probe cannon. We have that. Okay, so this shows me the the stuff in space. Whoa. The hell? What just happened? Ow. Um... Did that just launch this island into space with me on it? How did that not break all of my legs? So more bones there. More stuff there. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. You really think that would have not gone well for me. I don't see anything but lore here. It did, you almost dead. Well no, that's for other reasons. Oh no 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 no. Okay, note to self, don't walk through the water. The water is real scary. I wish I had seen that from like a third person perspective, because that was some shit. Okay, so we want to check this out. Conroy, Daz, and I were lifting the orbital space com can uh, orbital space probe cannon components, or orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank beneath, sank down beneath the current. Conroy, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, and ours sank straight through to the core. Kasava convinced me not, to, not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but. We're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of the Giant's Deep here at the Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory. And it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Conoy, I'm unable to grasp an answer looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. The trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. Okay. Oh. That might be the twister control module? Maybe. Either way, this is Brittle Hollow. Oh, we landed, like, right here, actually. I believe. 
Like, we were right on the edge of this dome previously, and it screwed up. Did you forget about them speaking about the current? Well, not really. It's just a matter of, like, did the current actually affect me, or I don't know. Well, also, the current is something completely different. Because the, the current is that, that shield. Of a sort. So yeah, I need to go there. This is really cool. This whole thing, this whole thing is very well made and very well done. For effectively what is maybe not even a point and click, well, I'm not necessarily going to say point and click adventure game. Oh, okay. So the island really did move quite tremendously. Okay, let's go check this out then. Okay. Uh, let's see. Refuel. Fuel. Let's look around. Nope. Oh. Bumbled right into that one. I don't see... Okay, there's ghost matter nearby. That's something I'm going to have to worry about. He is just hanging out here. Of course he is. Okay, so... So we found Gabro. They don't move, though, unfortunately. Nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. First solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately... I keep, like, dying repeatedly. So, I... I don't know, it's pretty weird. What about you? If you died lately, or is it just me? No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, time loop. Makes sense. Cool. You're taking this pretty well. Heh, <laughs> right back at you. Personally, I like new experiences. I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop like before this one. Looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell the, the, uh, tell the time's gotten all weird. I tried rating, radioing Hornfells and asking if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even... If I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they never remember by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all my memories from that loop, loop, sorry, loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to this big stone. Whoa. How are you so calm about this? Okay, options, gameplay. Ah, freeze time while reading conversations. watched the cyclone for so long it started to hypnotize you. I'm telling you, they put you in a trance if you stared at them long enough. How's space treating you? Found something. Nice, nice. What'd you find? What'd you got for me? Found out what happened to the orbital probe cannon. Whoa! That's the cannon breaking apart. Uh, that's the cannon breaking apart at the start of each time loop? For real? Did you find out why? Over enthusiasm. It's kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slater Feldspar would do. I'm pretty surprised the Nomad Nomai built something that actually broke. Come to think of it though, broke might be the wrong word, because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. Okay. So what are you doing out here? Well, what are any of us doing out here really? Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system, same as you. But I tell you what, outer space really gives you room to think. It's quiet and peaceful out here. I mean, it's usually quite peaceful. Sometimes a cyclone goes by and lifts my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then less peaceful. First out of Explorance, Giant's Deep. You know something you might like? At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Oh, we've already seen that one. 
Have you seen... Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it. Seeing as that's the island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way, it's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a sol solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabbro relaxation scale. But if you feel like checking out Statue Island, it's the one with the two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Well, mostly connected. Anyway, you'll see. What's up with this planet? Haha, <laughs> I know, right? Oh, you meant like... Tell you more about it? I gotcha. Well, Giant's Deep is massive. Mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current that weighs beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously. I tried everything I can think of to get past the current. Neither idea worked. As for land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one. There's also the one with that Nomai statue I saw on the beach. You've seen the cyclones? Yeah, they're hard to miss. They'll toss up everything in the path. Islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try and land in the water. Less likely to kill you. Where's your ship? That's a good question. It's definitely on the planet somewhere. I mean, unless a cyclone came by and tossed it into space. Heh. <laughs> uh, that'd be pretty nuts. Nuts. I hope it's not lonely. I wonder if there's anything in there. Unfortunately, I don't see anything of any immediate use here. There's smoke rising over there. We should probably go check out Statue Island the rest of the way. seem like there's anything useful there. Okay. Best bet is, let's refuel the jackpack. Buckle up. Everything is already topsy-turny. Oh, hi. There's more to this. I'm not done with this island. It seems like there's not a whole lot of cause to come back to these things. But I should always make sure that I've seen everything on them. And then I think I'm going to go hop in the water and try and fire a probe down. I don't know if it's necessarily a good idea, so I might... I'll probably take the ship with me. At the very least. Okay, anything interesting up here? Roast a marshmallow. I don't really know the point of that, but cool. The gravity here is one hell of a thing. Okay. Now let's try again. Oh. I didn't realize landing gear was messed up. Alright, let's go fix that. I guess I did land pretty hard. Okay. So it looks like the... whoops. It looks like the island that I'm looking for has moved. So that is not Statue Island. This looks like Statue Island. Okay. Yeah, close enough. I guess I'll get some more fuel over here. Hmm. 
that's a little bit more successful than I was hoping it would be. Okay, I'm going to leave that for a while. Was it floating? Yeah, it's floating. That is less helpful than I was hoping it would be. I was assuming that these... I was, I was originally assuming these people were controlling all the weather around here, but it looks like they actually don't have that capacity. Statu statue workshop. Okay. My ship over there. This seems kind of circuitous when you could have totally just made stairs. Okay. I think this might be the last island on here. Okay. Well, we've got a couple of things around here to take a look at. I don't know what my time limit is. Looks like we've got more of these, like, weird twister pads. Like, my original assumption with this is that this island was trying to protect something, but it actually looks like the Nomai actually have no idea. Or control. They're just kind of here. Ow. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flux says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we didn't... But what if we didn't use the door and stuck in another way? Does anyone want to? Flux specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, Lammy. But that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flux will... Let us see a test... A uh, later test. No, there's a whole grotto down there. Not this way. Oh, boy. Uh... Well... I think I'm stuck. Uh, can I, can I die? There's a the problem is gravity here is... Yeah, just wait for the sun to blow up. I mean, it shouldn't take too long. I've been on this planet for some time. Either that or... A Big friendly twister is coming to uh, to pick me up. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, hey, problem solved. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Okay, that's a safe place to stand. Okay. Anything here? We got another one of these. Oh. Welcome to Giant's Deep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below inside the island. So this is a landing this is a landing pad actually.
makes sense. Well, we can try and get inside the island really quick. Let's at least figure out how to get in there. Yeah, landing pad. Well, nothing that way. I don't see anything immediately there. It's generally not too hard to find any of these things, ish. Okay, so this is where I came in from. Which means I am not sure. Yeah, let's let's take a peek at this again. Oh yeah, you're exactly correct. I see how I'm supposed to do that. Or do that, do this. Okay, my ship's over here. Okay, good. Gravity kind of gives up when I'm in the water. Let's see, there's a door that you ignored when rock climbing. Oh, I was that... No, 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 the door was, the door was like, shut. I couldn't get it open. Either that or it was wrecked. It's a couple of different doors. Okay. I'm pulling a china shop. A very messy china shop. Okay. We don't have much time. I can only imagine everything's going to blow up very soon. So that's the door back out. I don't think I care about that. Okay, so we've got a lot of statues. Okay. Darx, would you kindly step back so Dia Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing the statue, we'll choose whoever's closest proximity. Well, the sun just blew up. I'm just going to be in here until I die, more or less. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to read anything like that. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, bulls are surprisingly nimble. Yeah, uh, it's actually... It's actually kind of interesting. Effectively, uh, if you pull a, put a bull in a china shop, they won't break a thing. So yeah, we'll have to come back to that island. But that's fine. We're making progress. We're learning a lot of things. We haven't solved anything. But I'm pretty sure eventually we'll be able to actually start making some solutions. You really think you could actually, like, almost set a timer? Okay, this game might actually upset Shell. She doesn't really like time, time shenanigans in games, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. But yeah, this game is great. I can't wait to play more of it tomorrow, for sure.